Hey, this is Jonathan Tremblay from Cyanide Audio, and for today's tips and tutorials, I'll be showing you how to create a gated reverb using Ducker. Now, for the current block setup that I have, I just have a utility clock, which is clocking the bento box eight steps. Uh, I've got this very simple sequence of one note or one tick every eight, so every time it goes eight steps, it'll trigger my snare here once. Now the snare is going into outputting to the utility mix 4 on channel 1 and this snare is also going to the rounds reverb which is coming in on channel 2. So this is what that sounds like. Now I'm going to bring in the reverb which in this case is set to a very very huge size and it's very it's very big it's like a big wash. Now this is completely unmanageable in a mixing sense. Uh, so what can we do with it? Well, we can gate the reverb, which will give us the big room, the big vibe of that reverb, but without the unmanageability and the fact that you can't really mix it. So let's mute that. Go into split view. We're going to bring in Ducker. Now Ducker is a two-channel ducking slash amplifying block. Uh, with well, obviously two channels and you can link these two channels so when you move controls it'll mirror on the other side uh, for ease of use when working with stereo signals um, and as well as there's a mid side function if you click on the channel you can go into mid side for ducking or expanding um, mid or side signals so I'm going to leave this in channel 1 and 2 and we are going to take the output of the snare put that into our sidechain input because it will act as the gating trigger uh, and we're going to take the reverb and put that in the channel 1 and 2 so left and right channel 1 is going to be our left channel 2 is our right we're going to take the output of duckers channel 1 and 2 and put that in in 3 L and in 3 R for the mix 4 so let's go to our initialize function and the first thing that this will do is uh, nothing will actually will do something is that the snare is going to work as a triggering mechanism for Ducker so it's going to take the input analyze that and then work on the channel inputs based on the sidechain so in this case we're in a ducking fashion so every time the snare hits the reverb will duck uh, let me show the uh, enable input 3 because we have our Ducker's input coming in on 3. So every time the snare hits it will duck the reverb but we actually want it in the opposite faction. So we're going to go over here underneath the gear wheel enable that into amp mode and so now every time the snare hits it'll open the gate uh, allowing the reverb to come through. So now we just have to give it First, let's link. Let's do RMS mode, which will smoothen out the um, initial attack. Uh, and then we're also going to do exponential, since we're working with a very sharp sound, uh, very sharp transient. Exponential mode works to accentuate that transient even more. Let's bring up the amplitude factor a little bit. So in Ducker, we have the red line which is the actual function of Ducker itself so in this case we're going into amp mode so the red up represents the factor of amplitude or the amplitude, amplitude internal amplitude being calculated whereas the, all the white is the internal as uh, the signal going into the sidechain input so we can see our snare is the white signal and then as we increase the amplitude that will follow along based on that. So let's go around here. Okay, so now we can hear that every time the snare hits we get some of the reverb. Uh, and then we probably want to accentuate that a bit more, so we give it some hold. And this is the basis of a gated reverb. So once the snare hits, it's like a big and then it cuts off real quick. It's like a classic 80s snare hits. 
Uh, but we can also do some other things with this. We can smoothen out the release time and everything. So let's do that. There we go. That's pretty good. So now we end up having uh, comes in smoothly because the RMS, and then it leaves smoothly because of the release time. Nice. So now we have a gated reverb, uh, and it's in all actuality in practice. That's exactly what it is. So we can mix that in a little bit better. Now we can start playing with some of the patterns. So now you can hear every time the snare goes, that reverb washes. Now if we're playing with a fast pattern like this, we probably want to decrease the hold time. Change the tuning of the snare. But yeah, that's how you create a gated reverb using Ducker. Now remember, Ducker you can also use for, in this case we're using as the amplitude function, so it's like opening a gate and letting the signal through, but you can also use it in a reduction manner. And uh, doing so, you can also do mid-side, so you can actually go in and play with the mid-side a bit. Let's unlink. Uh, let's go back to RMS and exponential. Decrease the mid completely. So now we're playing with the reduction and the amplitude. A reduction mode and amp mode. So now the center ducks every time the snare hits and the sides get amplified every time the snare hits. So you get like an inverse type sound. Kind of messes with the stereo field a bit. But you can definitely get some very interesting sounds out of that. But uh, that's been these tips and tutorials for creating a gated reverb with Ducker. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like and subscribe and leave a comment. Uh, in the description, I will put the link for where to grab Ducker. And uh, yeah, hope you have a nice day. Thank you.